Imagine living in a tent on the outskirts of town. No bed, no utilities, no idea where the day's food or water will come from, if it comes at all. Now imagine living that way for almost 40 years. Charles didn't have to imagine, because that was exactly his situation. But it wasn't the end of his story. I was homeless. Well, I've been homeless ever since the 70s. And uh, I slept in a tent up on the Broadway by the railroad track for a very long time. While sharing a meal downtown, a centenary member reached out to him and invited Charles to Room in the Inn, a network of churches that provides homeless men a meal, fellowship, and a place to sleep during the cold winter months. It was at Room in the Inn that he earned his nickname, Pop. And I met uh, Robert Butcher down at McDonald's, and he asked me to get in the Room in the Inn last year. And uh, I got in the Room in the Inn which was good, was great, the people was great. You know, was getting out of cold food, bed to sleep in at night. After a time, Pop was invited to join Six Treasures, a mentoring ministry for Lexington's homeless that makes handcrafted wood items like cutting boards and picture frames. He jumped right in, learning his craft and honing his skills. Yeah, I do woodwork, I uh, sand, I uh, stain wood, uh, do all kinds of woodwork, you know, woodwork, help out whatever, you know, needs to be done. And I really enjoy it. The beautiful results speak for themselves. But the best part is, after almost 40 years of living on the street, Pop now has his own apartment. Robert said he'd help me get an apartment. He got me this apartment I have now. Pop's story reminds us it's never too late or too hopeless for God's redemptive work in our lives, whether we're receiving it or helping others to receive it. Like a rough, dry piece of wood, a little time, a little work, and a lot of love can help any life shine.